प्रिंसिपल ऑफ इंक्रीज ऑफ एंट्रोपी प्रिंसिपल ऑफ इंक्रीज ऑफ एंट्रोपी स्टेट्स दैट द एंट्रोपी ऑफ एन आइसोलेटेड सिस्टम ड्यूरिंग ए प्रोसेस ऑलवेज इंक्रीजेस और रिमेन्स कॉन्स्टेंट एंट्रोपी ऑफ एन आइसोलेटेड सिस्टम नेवर डिक्रीजेस डेल्टा एस आइसोलेटेड is greater than or equal to 0 we know change in entropy of a reversible process is integral d q by t reversible what is the entropy change for a irreversible process consider a closed system undergoing a cycle the cycle consists of two processes one process may be reversible or irreversible process from 1 to 2 through path 1 l 2 the second process is definitely a reversible process from 2 to 1 through path 2 m1 as shown in the pv diagram by clausius inequality cyclic integral dq by t is less than or equal to 0 calculating the cyclic integral of dq by t for the cycle cyclic integral dq by t is equal to integral 1 to 2 dq by t plus integral 2 to 1 dq by t reversible is less than or equal to 0 we know that integral 2 to 1 dq by t reversible is equal to entropy change from state 2 to 1 therefore it is replaced by s1 minus s2 integral 1 to 2 dq by t plus s1 minus s2 is less than or equal to 0 rearranging we get s2 minus s1 is greater than or equal to integral 1 to 2 dq by t in differential form ds is greater than or equal to dq by t for reversible process ds is equal to dq by t and for irreversible process ds is greater than dq by t the quantity integral 1 to 2 dq by t is the entropy transfer involved when heat is transferred at a temperature capital t for a irreversible process ds is greater than dq by t the entropy change integral ds is equal to delta s which is equal to s2 minus s1 which exceeds entropy transfer that is integral 1 to 2 dq by t by some positive quantity for irreversible process then this entropy generated during a process is called entropy generation and it is denoted by s generation the entropy generation can be either positive or zero delta s is equal to s2 minus s1 which is equal to integral 1 to 2 dq by t reversible plus s generation for reversible process s generation is equal to zero as ds is equal to dq by t for irreversible process s generation is greater than 0 as ds is greater than dq by t for a system the entropy change is ds greater than or equal to dq by t for an isolated system that means no mass transfer and no energy transfer dq is equal to 0 therefore change in entropy becomes delta s isolated is greater than or equal to 0 for an isolated system entropy may increase or remains constant but it may never decrease this is the increase of entropy principle if the isolated system undergoes a reversible process its entropy remains constant if it undergoes an irreversible process its entropy increases for reversible isolated system capital s is equal to a constant value we know system and surrounding can be combined to be called as universe universe can be considered to be an isolated system since the universe does not interact with its outside according to increase of entropy principle the entropy of universe can either increase or remain constant but it can never decrease entropy is an extensive property so entropy change of universe is equal to entropy change of system plus entropy change of surrounding entropy change that is delta s is equal to s2 minus s1 
which can be positive, zero or negative. But entropy generation can never be negative. The entropy generation is caused due to the irreversibilities of the system. Entropy is a non-conserved property. Entropy is conserved only when the process is ideal. The entropy decides the direction of processes. A process occurs only in the direction that conforms to the principle of increase of entropy.